we looked and we looked and we couldn't find them. We thought, well, maybe they're a myth. There aren't any bottlenose wells there. And, of course, it was foggy most of the time, so we didn't see much. But then, in the midst of the fog, the whales came around and you saw these shapes. These bottlenose whales, they live right in the gully. I mean, most whales are meandering all over the place. But these ones, they stay right there. And uh, so when you're in the gully, you're very, very likely to see them if the weather's okay. And, uh, and when they're there, they, they're using the whole gully. They're diving way down to the bottom, 1,500 meters or more, which is you know, about as deep as any mammal can get. But when they come to the surface, which is obviously when we see them, um, they're about the most friendly whale you can imagine. Well, in the gully, <laughs> I mean, in some ways, it looks like just another bit of ocean when you're sailing along the top of it. it, it it's sometimes very smooth, not very often. It's more often pretty rough and often very foggy. But there's almost always life there, even at the surface. You see the seabirds, the whales come up, the dolphins. Sometimes if it's clear, you'll see the big blows of the large baleen whales, the blue whales and fin whales. Um, it, it's a, it's a, a really wonderful place. Here off Nova Scotia, we've got one of the wonders of the world. It's not only a wonder of the world in the way it's, it's shaped in terms of its geology, but also in terms of the life that uses this extraordinary place that calls it home. And uh, we should be proud of that, and we should look after it and let it flourish and learn about it. <laughs>